There's a massive update on 3i Atlas. First, we uncovered its shocking link to water. Then, theories swirled about its dark and mysterious origins. But now, brand new observations reveal something even stranger, something that could redefine how we view interstellar visitors. The Hubble Space Telescope and advanced research teams have detected signals suggesting this object isn't drifting silently through the void. Instead, it's glowing with an energy that defies explanation. And some scientists quietly ask, could it be nuclear-powered? Tonight, we dive into the evidence, the speculation, and the profound implications. The glow that shouldn't exist. When Hubble turned its eye toward 3i Atlas, astronomers expected a faint, almost forgettable point of light. Interstellar visitors are usually dim, so distant, so cold, they barely reflect enough sunlight to stand out. But what they saw instead was astonishing. Around this solitary traveler was a glow, steady, persistent, undeniable. Not the flash of reflected light, not the momentary shimmer of dust catching the sun, but an extended luminosity radiating outward in a way no one had anticipated. The first instinct was to blame something familiar, outgassing, Perhaps, the classic culprit when comets develop halos of mist and gas under solar heating. Jets of vapor erupting from the surface, scattering sunlight, painting the cosmos with a ghostly haze. Yet, this explanation faltered immediately. 3i Atlas is moving at tremendous speed, slicing through the solar system at tens of kilometers per second. At such velocity, solar radiation should strip material unevenly, tearing it away in chaotic plumes. Instead, the glow around 3i Atlas is uniform, calm, almost symmetrical, like a lantern burning with deliberate purpose. Then came the numbers. Instruments measuring the brightness began to estimate the energy involved, tens of megawatts. To put that in human terms, that's enough to power a small city, streetlights, hospitals, homes, all fueled by something no bigger than a mountain drifting through space. And yet, no fragmentation trails appear in its wake. No dust streams scatter behind it. Just a continuous radiance, as if energy is being produced from within. To the casual observer, it might sound like science fiction. To astronomers, it's a puzzle that refuses to fit. If 3i Atlas is a natural body, what source of power could glow so steadily, so far from the sun? Some have suggested radioactive decay, uranium or thorium buried deep inside. Radioactivity, after all, is nature's slow-burning fire. But decay on that scale should produce faint traces, not a glow equivalent to megawatts of output. The intensity here is something else entirely. And so the tension grows. The glow is not an illusion. It is not a trick of angle or timing. It is real. It is measurable. And it is steady. Either our models of interstellar objects are profoundly incomplete, or 3i Atlas is carrying a secret we are only beginning to glimpse. Could it be nuclear-powered? The most daring theory is also the one that keeps astronomers awake at night. Nuclear power. Not the roaring fusion of stars, but something smaller, something we know intimately. Fission. On Earth, fission has reshaped our civilization. But long before human hands engineered reactors, nature itself once did the same. Two billion years ago, in the region we now call Gabon, Africa, uranium deposits gathered underground in just the right concentration. Water seeped in, slowing neutrons, triggering a chain reaction. The Oklo natural reactor was born. For hundreds of thousands of years, the Earth itself ran a nuclear reactor. No engineers, no blueprints, just physics unfolding in perfect balance. Now imagine that same phenomenon, but not beneath African soil deep inside an interstellar traveler. If 3i Atlas carries dense veins of uranium, thorium, or similar isotopes, could the same self-sustaining chain reaction occur? Could it burn quietly in the dark, generating a steady output of heat and light? Scientists have run the math. If even a few percent of its interior is uranium-rich, a body this size could indeed sustain fission reactions. And those reactions could generate megawatts of energy, enough to explain the steady, haunting glow Hubble recorded. But here lies the paradox. Natural reactors are fragile. They demand precise geometry, the right balance of moderator and fuel, the exacting presence of water or other materials to slow neutrons. The Oklo reactor was a miracle of chance, an improbable alignment on our own planet. 
For such a system to exist inside a wandering interstellar object? Possible, yes. Probable. Almost inconceivably unlikely. And that's where the whispers begin. If chance seems too slim, then what remains? Design. Intent. Engineering. Could 3i Atlas be more than rock and ice? Could it be a relic, an ancient probe adrift, its nuclear heart still beating after eons? This is not the first time such speculation has emerged. Avi Loeb, the Harvard astrophysicist, ignited controversy by suggesting Oumuamua might be alien technology, perhaps a light sail or a fragment of an ancient craft. Now, with 3i Atlas, the whispers return. The glow could be natural, but it could also be something crafted, an echo of intelligence, a machine lost to time, still radiating power as it crosses the gulf between stars. The evidence doesn't settle the debate. It only sharpens the question, are we witnessing geology or engineering? The implications for humanity. If 3i Atlas is nuclear-powered, whether by accident of nature or by deliberate design, it forces us to rethink our place in the universe. For centuries, interstellar objects were little more than streaks of light across the night sky. Silent visitors, harmless curiosities. But with Oumuamua, Borisov, and now 3i Atlas, those visitors have become something more. Messengers. And sometimes, the message is deeply unsettling. Consider the technological scale implied if the glow is artificial. A civilization capable of seeding probes across the galaxy would need energy sources that endure not solar panels that fade in darkness, not chemical fuel that burns out in years. They would need reactors, compact, efficient, long-lasting. Nuclear power fits perfectly. If 3i Atlas is a probe, then we are not merely watching a rock. We are staring at alien engineering, ancient and silent, yet still alive with energy. But even if the glow is natural, the revelation is no less profound. Imagine a universe where nature itself builds nuclear reactors, where radioactive veins within drifting rocks ignite, sustaining steady power in the emptiness between stars. Such a possibility means the cosmos is not just stranger than we thought, it is stranger than we can imagine. It suggests a universe alive with hidden engines, mechanisms forged not by hands, but by chance. For scientists, the challenge is clear. Every observation matters. Every photon collected by Hubble, by Swift, by ground-based telescopes is a clue. The task is to measure, to model, to test, and to admit when the data does not fit. For the rest of us, the implications are more emotional, even existential. 3i Atlas reminds us that the cosmos is not static. It is dynamic, alive with phenomena that crash into our awareness and force us to rewrite our understanding. Perhaps that is its true message, that we are still beginners in the universe's story that our models, our explanations, our sketches compared to the grand, unpredictable reality. And as we gaze outward, we are reminded, each visitor is a lesson, each anomaly, a signal, each glow in the dark, a question waiting to be asked. 3i Atlas was already mysterious when we discovered water. It grew stranger with theories about its shadowy past. And now, with Hubble detecting a glow that defies explanation, it has become one of the greatest enigmas in modern astronomy. Nuclear-powered, natural or artificial, it hardly matters. What matters is this. The universe is far more dramatic, more complex, and more alive than we ever dared imagine. And 3i Atlas is the latest chapter in a story that refuses to let us look away. Thanks for watching. We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Your support means the world and keeps our journey going.